All right, liberal cities have another brilliant idea on how to fight crime and stop the violent surge of carjackings. And no, it's not locking up dangerous repeat criminals. Washington, D.C. Mayor Muriel Bowser is handing out free air tags to residents to make it easier to track their stolen car more, more seriously. <laughs> These tags and tiles will help MPD recover stolen vehicles and hold people accountable. The word will also get out that this is not a community to come in and steal cars um, because it, it won't be worth your while. Right. We'll eventually find you. We're not sure how Apple Air Tags will make a dent in the staggering number of thefts happening in our nation's capital. Look at that number, up 36%. The number of stolen cars up significantly. Mayor Bowser, however, should get credit on this. She is slamming a D.C. judge for sending a 15-year-old carjacking suspect home after her seventh carjacking arrest. YRS does not make that decision. Judges do. And it's the judge's right to say, I prefer shelter. And if I can't get a shelter, then I'm going to send this child home. The child was sent home. The child is now not with us. Unbelievable. And she's a danger again. Katie, let's start with you. Do you think these mayors have to change their stance on going easy on crime, not prosecuting crime, because they have to deal with this on a daily basis? Do you see them saying, hey, I, I admit I blew it. My heart was in the right place, but my head isn't. My, the, the, the stats don't lie. The mayors have to do it. The city council has to make the penalties more intense. They actually made the penalties less for carjacking recently. Uh, the judges and the juries have to put people behind bars. The, the Washington Post did the story this week about this woman who already had an air tag in her car. Yeah. And she got carjacked. So she has it on her phone with the police watching <coughs> over her shoulder. And she's watching it drive around. And she says, are you going to go get it? And they said, no, we can't pursue. So until the car is stopped, that they can't insane. actually go get the car. But the bigger issue here is that over the weekend, there was another carjacking, 827 carjackings in Washington, D.C. this year alone. Think about how many per day that is. It was a 13-year-old and a 12-year-old. And it was an off-duty federal officer who ended up shooting. The 13-year-old died. The 12-year-old was then taken away. 74% of the carjackings involve guns, and the majority of them are people under 18. So the issue is that juveniles are getting away with these horrendous crimes. 12-year-olds and 13-year-olds should not be out at 10 p.m. on the weekend without a parent or a guardian. They have to figure out this problem with young people deciding to be involved in this horrific mm -hmm. crime, which is a crime, but also it's, it's horrible that 13-year-olds have to suffer a fate that right. they rightly deserved if they're going to carjack people and say they have a, a weapon. But that is something that the city council should have to deal with. So, Harold, it seems that the air tag uh, idea is something that we found in the 80s with Lojack. Uh, <laughs> Lojack tracks your car. So uh, Henry Cuellar actually left his air tag in his car after he was carjacked, and they end up getting it back. What do you think about her? Uh, uh, is she getting to her wit's end on this? Do you see her changing her stance on this? I hope so. Look, I, I don't mind the use of new technology. This is not going to change the things that we're talking about, but at least you, you may, might be a car. small deterrent. A couple of things. We, we, we've talked before. It, it, there are four things you need to do to try to deal with crime, I think, in, in, in these cities. And, and Katie, you've talk, talked about this as well. First, you got to end cashless bail. Uh, it's not working. Um, I, I was one from the outset that thought that there might be some benefit, but it has not turned out to be a benefit. Right. And I think you have to be responsible to say it's not working, too. Um, the, 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 the lethality of some of these guns that are allowed on the street, we should ban assault weapons. Uh, we should figure out, we should, you may not like Carol, that, but they're, they're not Kate, carjacking with Kate, assault weapons. What, they're you, carjacking with pistols, which are already banned. Well, I'm Washington talking about crime. State. I'm talking about murders in these towns as well. Give me one second. Kate, Kate, let me just finish, guys, let me just finish my point. Uh, we had to, we had to have men, mental fitness tests for who can buy guns. We had to have an age limit on who can buy guns. This is what the polling says. People we have want all to, these things. Katie, I, I'll let you finish. I, I, just I understand, said, but you're not saying things that are true when it comes to that issue. It's just true. In your face, Harold. <laughs> I, I want to. I'm. In, I'm in a solutions business, and some people are not, and that's fine. If you want to be in the political business and you want to, you want to lay out your 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 agenda, that's fine. But you got to hire more cops. You got to pay cops more. You got to train cops better. We have to build more prisons. Why? Because people should go to jail who commit crimes. They commit crimes with a gun and they kill a cop. They should go to jail forever. Mm -hmm. If you commit crimes right. in neighborhoods, you're shooting kids, and black kids, and brown kids in neighborhoods where they don't have opportunities, you should go to jail for a long, long time. So yeah, you, we can talk about guns, and I know your position on guns, but I don't, I like, don't, think you do. I don't like kids 
having guns. I don't like people who are mentally unfit having guns. And I don't like assault weapons in neighborhoods. And that, that's not carjacking. That's crime in America that we've got to deal with. Would, do you want to take it from here, Dana? I'm just going to I don't disagree with a lot of what Katie said. And I think that what's happening for Mayor Bowser is a lot of people are just having to make a tough decision to leave the city. They leave the city because they can't, they don't feel safe there. And they don't want to come in to work in the city because of carjackings and because it's not safe. So what do you have? More people going into Virginia instead of staying in the district. So they're losing a lucrative tax base. And if these kids are out doing carjackings, guess where they're not? In school. And we've seen the statistics for people who cannot read or write in the district in, the, in those schools. And I want to make somebody famous. You all should make him famous, too. Brian Schwab. He's the attorney general of D.C. He is in charge of juvenile crime. But he is focused on a lot of different things, like bringing a case against the NRA, which doesn't even have a, district, a, a position in the District of Columbia. So the police, I would agree, hire more police, but you have to allow the police then to pursue the vehicle so that they can catch the kids and they can do... I mean, there's I all these things, like the air tags is basically ceding the ground to the criminals it, without no, doing anything else. No question, Greg. Have you been paying attention? Yes, I have. Do you have anything to add? Yeah, I think they should put the air tags on the parents of these kids. <laughs> that would be but, a good uh, idea. This is how you deal with crime <laughs> once you decriminalize it. It's now on the law-abiding public to adapt to lawlessness. So we won't jail them. You adapt. Don't go out after 9 p.m. That's what people do. Right. Don't wear expensive jewelry or watches. Don't buy cars that can be stolen. Don't take the subway at night anymore. And while you're at it, girls, don't wear short skirts. Mm. See, this is the same immoral mentality that is applying now to every single action. But there's one thing you can't do. Protect yourself. We no longer imprison criminals, violent criminals. But if you were to decide to protect yourself with a firearm from these free-roaming free thugs, you will be jailed. It's a pincer move. That's a military phrase, Brian. We get you with the crime, and we get you if you choose to defend yourself from crime. Jamal Bowman sentence, which was like writing a letter, that's, that's harsher than what these kids are getting. So we live in weird times. We do, and I would say this. There's going to be an opportunity in four years for a politician to emerge. We're going to have new people. If you are a mayor that tackles crime and bucks your own party, the Democratic Party, and starts doing some of the things that we mentioned around this table, your whole political future. The mayor future. of Dallas. Yeah, the he mayor of Dallas. He switched parties. He switched parties. Yeah. And if there's a Democrat that doesn't want to switch parties but take those positions, mm -hmm. I think uh, the sky is the limit. Oh, that's a great Beautiful. Novel. Okay, trying to, to end, end on an upbeat. You know? Well, yeah, that's uh, good. Got a lot of show left, 24 <laughs> minutes before the top of the hour. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.